Hey guys, John from the John Muir Show here, and the midterm elections of 2018 are two and a half months in the rearview mirror now. I mean, heck, we already know who won those elections. The people who did win those elections have already been seated. They've started to govern. So you would hope that that election cycle is a thing of the past. We can all just move forward from there. But apparently that is too much to ask because uh, some people uh, still cannot get over talking about the midterm elections of 2018 and just what a travesty it was. One of those people being Joe Biden. That's right, the former vice president of the United States under the uh, disastrous uh, former president Barack Obama uh, decided to use his time with the microphone at uh, MSNBC's resident racist Al Sharpton's Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. celebration in Washington, D.C. yesterday to go talking about what a shame it was that Republicans stole the elections uh, in the governor's races in the states of Florida and Georgia. Why is it that uh, Mr. Biden is claiming that these elections were stolen? Well, he says it was stolen with those damn voter ID laws that Republicans insist on putting into place and supporting. Really, huh? So Republicans stole those elections, Joe, with voter ID laws? Uh, last I checked, the voter ID laws, they are not a bad thing. They, they, they are not racist, as Mr. Biden went on to state yesterday, as so many on the left have stated in recent years. There's nothing racist about it. See, these are not meant to target any group of people based on their race or their gender or any other characteristic that they cannot control. No, 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 there is nothing div divisive about these uh, voter ID laws. The reason that we have these voter ID laws laws is so the, the elections that we have in this country can quite simply have integrity to them. That's the reason we do it. I mean, heck, the, the people who win elections are, are going to be representing American citizens at some level of government. Doesn't it seem like it would be common sense to ensure the only people who are deciding who are going to be the people representing American citizens are the American citizens? I mean, it seems like common sense to me. Seems like common sense to plenty of folks. But apparently Joe Biden, the liberal that he is, still doesn't get it. He, he goes on railing about what a shame it was these elections were just stolen away here by the Republicans. Uh, the, with Ron DeSantis winning the governor's race over Andrew Gillum in Florida. And with Brian Kemp winning the governor's race over Stacey Abrams in Georgia. Look, no, 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 no. That, that, that is not the reason that those elections went the way they did. See, Joe, the, maybe the reason, you should probably think of this, the reason that uh, Andrew Gillum is not the governor of Florida is because the people of Florida decided that they do not want to have a socialist governor in the state of Florida. And maybe the reason that Stacey Abrams is not the governor of Georgia is the people of Georgia decided that they do not want a governor in Georgia who's nothing but a gun grabber. Those are the reasons why these elections turned out the way they did. It had nothing to do with the voter ID laws that are in place. People still have plenty of opportunities to go and vote. Sure, there's voter ID laws in plenty of places now, but guess what? It, it just requires people to show documentation to prove that they are who they say they are. And, and for folks who do not have that documentation, they can easily obtain the documentation. For people who cannot afford the documentation, the documentation will be provided to them for voting purposes free of cost. So there is no racism involved in this. Nobody's being kept out on this. No, it's just to ensure our elections have integrity. And it seems nowadays that Democrats, at least at times, claim to care about the integrity of elections. I mean, we hear them go on and on and on about how terrible it is that you have potentially Russians meddling in the elections but not changing a single vote. It would be really nice if Democrats like Joe Biden would care as much when you have, I don't know, people coming to this country illegally, voting in our elections, casting ballots that do count toward the final tallies and can potentially affect the outcome of the elections. Oh, but Joe Biden thinks that those people, the illegals, oh, they're going to vote Democrat. They're going to vote for his party, so it's okay. It's just unbelievably pathetic that, that people like Joe Biden keep trying to turn this into a divisive topic, trying to play the race card and divide us on that front once again when it comes to voter ID laws, when Joe Biden's just mad that his candidates lost. Look, you win some and you lose some, Joe. How about you and Andrew Gillum and Stacey Abrams and all the other apologists for them on the left just admit okay we lost this one and move the hell on come on it's getting old it's all the time that we have for today but tune into the john muir show each and every weekday 8 40 a.m on wtaq 9 a.m on wsau and whbl till next time i'm out